Hey y'all, it's me Alex. Today I have a fall fashion haul video for y'all. It's not your traditional haul, but um, I'm someone who I do enjoy a lot of fashion content on YouTube, um, but I do get kind of turned off by the way, you know, a lot of big haul videos are done. And as someone who genuinely enjoys fashion, but wants to step away from like the big fast fashion consumeristic hauls that kind of just seem to take over the fashion realm on YouTube, I kind of want to try making content that steps away from that. Basically what that is an intro to is I bought a couple items from the brand Princess Highway, which is an Australian based clothing brand. They make a lot of cute stuff. You can find them on ModCloth. That's how I found them. I bought a dress from them that was super cute earlier this summer and I kind of just started exploring their website, saving a few items for me to just like buy when I had some money. So I spent about a hundred dollars and that's including shipping. I was able to get these pieces on sale and I bought two pieces, a top and a skirt. And I wanted to show this to you in my own kind of hallway. So I won't actually be showing it to you in my hallway because my hallway is a mess. <laughs> that's not funny actually. But I did kind of want to show it to you uh, because I would love to start making more fashion content, but I don't want to, you know, step into the, I spent, however much money and got like 500 pieces from Shein or something because I don't feel like that's who I am and that's not how I want to consume fashion content. I instead have been trying to be a lot more mindful about the pieces that I buy and whether they'll actually fit into my wardrobe or not. I do still experiment with clothing but that's not something that I necessarily go to buy new for. That's something that I try and thrift for always because I feel like that's a little bit of a better way for me to experiment with my style while having a lesser impact on uh, the environment, the production lines and all of that. All of that's to say is I bought two whole pieces from Princess Highway and that's a brand that I really like. I like how their products look. The few items that I have bought from them always feel like something that I could see myself wearing for a long, long time. And I also like it. They're an Australian brand. So since they are in the Southern Hemisphere and I'm in the Northern Hemisphere in the US, generally speaking, you know, like right now, it's springtime for them. So they're having a sale on all their fall clothes. So that way, you know, I can always get seasonally appropriate clothes, but I can always, you know, get it on a sale from there. I do have to pay a little bit extra in shipping. It's about 15 bucks for international shipping to the United States. But personally, I don't see that as necessarily um, a bad thing. If it's something that I know I'm going to wear for a long time, I, like I said, I'm just trying to, instead of constantly bringing in a whole bunch of clothes, I want to just you know, be mindful of what I buy and make sure that the pieces I'm bringing into my wardrobe are something that I could be wearing for a long time. So that being said, I think that is a long enough introduction that I should just actually show you what I got. I will also put in some try on clips that way you can see how they look, but I'm just gonna pair the pieces like with each other because I feel like that would be the best choice maybe. So the first thing, if you know me, you know that I absolutely had to get this. This is slightly out of my comfort zone because I don't normally wear light colors near my face, but I also know that with the way this is, um, I could jump out of my comfort zone a little bit and also pair it with some pieces that might help me feel a little bit more comfortable. I got this cute little like cream top and it has sugar gliders embroidered on the like chest collar type region. It is so, so cute. And I think the color actually works pretty well for me because it's not a straight up white. So it doesn't wash me out as much as a white shade would. So it's just this nice little shirt with, you know, a collar that's a little bit more rounded at the edge, which is nice too, because I think so many times with button down shirts, the shape of the collar is very, very harsh. And I like that sometimes, but you know, sometimes I want to go for a little bit more of a softer look when it comes to my button ups and my businessy type shirts. It is in this really comfortable fabric. Let me see what the fabric actually is because I didn't look into that as much if it is on there. Okay, and this is 100% cotton, so it's all natural fibers, which means that it's very breathable and very comfortable. This is in an Australian size 14. Generally speaking, on my top, I run about a US size 12 and on my bottom, I'm a US 14. So for this top, I bought a 
Australian 14, which generally is about a US 10 to 12. I think this fits really nicely. I know that this one is meant to be a little bit more boxy, a little bit more oversized from how it looks on the model on the website. Generally speaking, when it comes to tops like this, I don't like them to fit super oversized on myself. I like them to be a little bit more fitted because I feel like that's a little bit more flattering on my body type. I'm just really happy with how this looks. I love that like it's full on embroidered on here. I feel like that adds like a lot of extra quality to it rather than it being screen printed and it just looks like my little sugar glider it looks like my sugar gliders but it especially reminds me of blizzard because she's the like grayer one of the group the only thing i don't like about this blouse is that it's a little bit sheerer than i thought it would be online perhaps it's because generally speaking the bras and stuff that i wear aren't light colored. I usually tend to go for like grays and blacks because that's what I'm kind of comfortable in. So I'll definitely have to wear like a tank top underneath this. I don't know, the older I get, the more I find that tops that require other shirts to be worn with them kind of annoy me because I feel like it's a conspiracy made by the shirt industry in order to make us buy more shirts, but that that's just me. Um, but otherwise, I do think that this is really cute and I could see myself wearing this with a lot of things. Um, it would look really good with the skirt that I bought that you'll see up next. I could also see it with like a pair of jeans and I also have a really nice burgundy cardigan from Old Navy that I think would look really nice over top of this for days when I am like kind of not feeling, you know, like light colors go with my face well. You know what I mean? I don't know if that actually makes sense or if I'm just sensitive and light colors actually look fine on me. I don't know, but I had to get out of my comfort zone in that way simply because sugar gliders. And the other piece that I got um, is also animal themed. It is a skirt um, and it has cats on it. And you know that the two kinds of animals that I have are sugar gliders and cats. So I, I just feel like it works. So this is in a nice navy blue and I really like this color scheme because if you actually look at most of the clothes I have in my wardrobe, uh, it's generally like black, navy blue, olive green, burnt orange, or purple. And I think that fits that really well. The cats on there are a cream color, so it would go with the sugar glider top really well. But I feel like I could also see myself wearing this with like a black sweater, um, a nice little turtleneck, things like that. So I think that this could also be very versatile. Just have to wear it with a little bit more of a plain top. This is a size 16, which would be about a US 14. Um, and it fits me really nicely. It goes over my hips really well, which I always get a little bit nervous about when I'm ordering stuff online. And just because my hips and thighs are the biggest part of my body. Uh, generally speaking, I do try and size up and I get a little bit nervous when I'm buying things that are supposed to be a little bit more form fitting and uh, this one obviously doesn't have a lot of stretch to it. So I was really worried that it wouldn't fit, but it does fit me really nicely. And it's nice because usually I just try and buy skirts that like flare out. So that way I don't have the hip problem, but it's nice for me to have something a little bit more fitted in my wardrobe. Uh, this does have pockets, which is fantastic. And the back of it has a button and zipper, which kind of confuses me because the way that looks almost kind of looks like how the front of a skirt or pair of pants would be, you know, because usually that's what you get from like a pair of jeans. You know, it's not so hard that I can't handle it. It is just slightly different than what I'm used to. Overall, this feels like it's gonna, you know, be a good, good piece of my wardrobe. And I like that it's a relatively short skirt, but it's not so short that I like couldn't wear it to work or something. That way it's still like business appropriate, but still fun because I can't get super into long skirts. I don't know why it just doesn't work for me. It's just personal preference. So anyway, let's get into the try on clips because that's all I got, man. Okay, so here is what the top looks like on. I will pan down to show you all the skirt in just a second. As you can see, it is kind of gapping a little bit at the bust, but I am wearing a bralette right now instead of a regular bra. And when I wear just like my everyday normal bra, this fits me like just fine. There isn't any gapping. So as you can see, I definitely require um, a little bit of a tank top underneath this. Otherwise you will kind of see everything that's going on underneath. Like it is no surprise to you all that I'm wearing a bra, but you know, I think for actually wearing this out of the house, that is something that I definitely need to do. But as you can see, the embroidery just looks so, so cute. I might try it. Let me see if it 
looks better when I unbutton like the top button. Yeah, that looks really, really good. I like it. I think it just fits me really nicely. When I'm wearing the skirt, I do try and tuck it in just because this is like a kind of a little bit boxier cropped sort of top. Let me actually uh, take it out. That way you can kind of see where it would theoretically hit on me. Yeah, so it kind of looks like that, which I don't think is a bad fit. It looks fine. Um, but when it comes to tops like this, I generally try and if I'm going to wear it untucked, I will wear it with like a pair of skinny jeans or something like that. Um, here is what, you know, it looks like from the back. And again, it is just a regular old cream shirt in the back. Wow. But yeah, I'm really happy with this. I think it fits really nicely. I think it, you know, works for my kind of like quirky, non-binary, Miss Frizzle uh, sort of aesthetic. So I think that goes really well. Let me pan down and show you all the skirt. Okay, pardon the like cat stuff in the back, but this is how the skirt looks. Um, as you can see, it has pockets on the sides. Since the actual like depth of the pocket, like compared to, you know, where it hits on the outside is only about like this much. Um, I don't know how much I'll actually be able to put in the pockets. Like I think I can manage a chapstick, but not quite my phone, you know? This hits pretty nicely, like just above the knee. You can see the lack of sunlight, but you can also see that I actually shaved my legs for the first time in a lot of months um, <laughs> last night, which I did just specially for this video. Yay! Feel good about yourselves. I shaved my legs for you. Woo. So this is a pretty like standard fitted skirt but it's not quite bodycon because i just find bodycon skirts to be so uncomfortable it's pretty nice here's what it looks like in the back like the pattern is the same as it is in the front uh, you have the little button and zipper thing going on which is you know a little bit difficult to maneuver because you can't see what's going on but i can make it work um also if you hear like my neighbor doing yard work and their dogs yapping <laughs> I'm sorry, I only have so many hours in a day to film, so I just have to push through that. But yeah, overall, I'm really happy with this. I think that this all fits me really well. I could see myself just like wearing some flats with this and just, you know, maybe some tights. I have tights in a few different colors so that I could probably match a pair to one of the colors in the skirt, or I could just wear black ones. Either way, I think that would be really nice. So as you can see, I think that I did pretty good. Um, and I bought two pieces that I could wear in a lot of ways. Yay! Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. You might see a few more videos kind of like this because I do enjoy fall fashion the most. I feel like that is like the most flattering on me. I kind of just wear fall colors year round. So I kind of take advantage of this time of year to get kind of my year round clothes. So you might see a couple more like mini hauls from me. I did do some socially distanced uh, thrifting about a week and a half ago. So if you'd like to see my little bitty haul from that as well, uh, let me know. Yeah, I just wanna make more content like this. I'm gonna try and do maybe even some outfit videos how I style some of my favorite pieces. Once I actually get my shit together a little bit more, I might try and do like a current favorite items in my wardrobe video, just because I do like showing off my style and I do like making content about that. It's just a little bit more difficult than what I'm used to with the makeup content and all that. And I also just kind of want to delve into making more fashion content because I like making the kind of videos that I like to see. And I really want to see more fashion content that doesn't just revolve around like gigantic hauls and stuff. Not that I'm going to shame anyone who does that. I don't like you do you. But for me personally, I want to see more stuff of like, this is what I already have in my wardrobe and here's how I'm wearing it for the season. Uh, things like that. Or miniature hauls of like, I could have gotten like 10 pieces from Forever 21 for what I spent on this but I'm happier with the two pieces that I got because I know I'm gonna wear them a lot more. Uh, so yeah, if that's the kind of content that you wanna see, please let me know. If you have any fashion video requests, also let me know. Um, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you wanna see more videos from me and I will see y'all in my next one. I hope you'll have a wonderful day, bye.